A community that grieves together can heal together. That is the hope of thousands in attendance who came to remember four lives stolen away less than a week ago here in London, Ontario, after police say they were targeted and murdered because of their Islamic faith. One of the many messages shared here today at the public service, hate will never defeat love. The family who went out for a walk less than a week ago arrived at this public service in four separate caskets, each draped in Canadian flags, the flag of the country they loved and moved to for its promise of inclusion and diversity. The country where, according to police, they were murdered because of the religion and beliefs they proudly followed. The expressions of raw emotion, the prayers, the quiet tears. The messages of comfort from people we know and from people that are complete strangers. It has been the first step towards finding a way to heal. Ali Islam is the uncle of victim Madiha Salman. He spoke for the entire family today as thousands stood, sat and knelt silently. As this week has progressed, we realized that our extended family was much larger than we could have ever imagined. Oh. In Islam, when we say the funeral prayers, it's a special prayer because it is about honoring both uh, a soul in life, but in afterlife as well. This family whose lives were unjustly taken, they have gone back to their Lord. And we consider them as martyrs because they died because of their faith. As a family, they showed each other love and togetherness. Ingrid Matson, a professor of Islamic studies at Western University, also spoke at today's and service and with City News about the loss so many are still coming to terms with. It certainly feels like a betrayal in some ways um, and a violation of the sense of safety and security. At the conclusion of the service, the caskets of 46-year-old husband and father Salman Afsal, his wife, 44-year-old Madiha Salman, their 15-year-old daughter Yumna Afsal, and her 74-year-old grandmother Talat Afsal were taken away for a private burial. The family leaving this request for all who've asked how they can help. I ask you to be examples of love and compassion. I ask you to take the time to learn from someone who doesn't look the same as you. I ask you to inspire others with your affection. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you land among the stars. Many telling me today that the grieving doesn't stop here. The memory of Salman, Madiha, Yumna and Talat will live on. However, the focus must also turn to the lone survivor, nine-year-old Fayez is still recovering. He's in hospital in serious condition. His physical wounds may heal, though the emotional scars may last a lifetime. And it will take the support of a nation to lift him up. In London, Ontario, I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.